young dude breaking down a QP of Reggie Man. So right now I'm on the way to my local store to go grab me some King Palms. Before you could only get King Palms at smoke shops, but now I can go to like Valero's, 7-Elevens. You pretty much name it, bro. Like they're pretty much all over in every convenience store that I've seen. Mainly 7-Elevens though. I'm about to tell this story time. Let's get it. The thing I like about King Palms is just in case you don't have a certain amount or if you have a big amount you want to smoke, they have all different types of sizes. I'm talking about from 0.5 sizes. Dang, these are really 0.5. We got one gram sizes. We got, you name it, three grams, three fives. They got it for you. So I'm about to stuff one up, man, and tell y'all how I became the plug. Now, I don't encourage nobody to do this. This is just a story time. Y'all know what's up, man. So I'm about to stuff this bad boy. Mmm, damn. Uh, bro, King Palms just smells so natural, bro. Like, for real, for real. It's like you're smelling outside mildew. You feel me? Like, oh, heck yeah. I hate smelling that nasty tobacco stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is the closest thing to a blunt, you know? So, of course, I like joints and stuff like that. But I love blunts as well. Or I did love blunts, but now... The substitute is definitely King Palm, man. No tobacco, no harsh chemicals, none of that stuff. It's just straight leaf, you know what I'm saying? With a corn tusk. So there's a filter right here, and that's actually a corn tusk filter. If y'all don't know what corn is, then gosh dang it, you're corny. So I was about 12 years old. Let's just start from there, you know. Let's get right onto the juicy details. And growing up, you know, it was no dad. I had no dad at all. I don't know my dad till today. Um, but my mom, she was addicted to drugs, you know, so if anybody in a household has somebody that's addicted to drugs, y'all kind of understand where I'm coming from, but she was addicted to drugs, so we had no money, the money we did have, it went to her addiction, we didn't even have food, like, we didn't have clothes, shoes, growing up was really rough, and somehow we had cockroaches, one day one of my mom's friends brought a big fat cockroach out of her purse, I say it like she did it on purpose. It was an accident, but like that cockroach left in that in our house. And then ever since then, I guess that cockroach had a baby and we had cockroaches ever since that day, I promise you. Just in case y'all wondering what kind of cockroaches we had, we had German cockroaches. Like, I don't know how the hell we got German cockroaches, but that's what we had. And we were growing up with cockroaches. I'm talking about when you go eat your food, you have to like put a plate over your food or the roaches will get it, you know? That was a fucking natural thing to do. And also put a, a plate over your cup so the roaches won't get in it. There's many times where I forget that or I don't put something over my drink like my canned soda and I drink the canned soda and by the time I'm at the end, it's a roach in my mouth. I remember walking to school and we'll get like lit before school, you know what I'm saying? So we'll get lit with the big homies. They'll always be up in the morning, bro, making that money, bro. I'm talking about 6 a.m. Like like before school like them niggas is really serving people before school and then after school whatever bro like those were some true hustlers and that being said i saw that and i was like bro that's motivation in my head like he'll pull out a wallet with like at least two bands in it and back then two bands was a lot if y'all don't know man i don't know how money just keeps on like just downgrading you know like everything's just more expensive now but 2k back then was pretty much a lot of money you know it, it kind of looked like five ten bands back then you know what i'm saying compared to now like if you see five bands it's like all right and you see ten bands you like okay that's what's up so to me two bands was like ten bands back then and, and i saw him hustling and he was getting all this money all the homies were getting money and i knew i had to be a part of that you know what i'm saying i knew somehow some way I had to be a part of the hustle ambition. And I had hustle ambition in me. Because I know that if I was hungry, I would go outside and I would go eat somehow. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if I needed something, I would go out and I would go get it somehow. Before I started hustling. You know, before I came to plug. So we ended up getting taken away by CPS. And after CPS took us away, my grandma adopted us. You know, so it was either somebody like in the family adopts us or we get taken away for good. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my grandma because she actually took us in and she gave up her whole life just to like take care of us. Now, she's a grandma, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't have really 
you know, uh, a good mindset to take care of kids, you know, it's just been a minute. The only difference we did have was we had $400 checks every month from adoption checks. Now, that was awesome. That gave us some money every month, you know what I'm saying? Like, and my grandma wasn't addicted to drugs, so money started coming in, but it wasn't like heavy, you know? It was like an extra $1,000 every month, which gave us allowances, which gave me and my bros allowances, at least $100 a month. So usually I get $100 allowance, but it was my birthday, and I got $200. So back then, man, I'm telling you, $200 is a lot, bro. Not a lot, but like you could, you know, you could do something with it, bro. Like for real. So I was thinking in my head, like, damn, I'm tired of being broke. If I use this 200 bucks, I'm probably going to just spend it and never see it again. You know what I'm saying? Like I always had that hustler's ambition and I was just like, you know what? Let me spend this money on something, you know, and boom, I motherfucking did it. I hit up my big homie. eye. And my big homie, I, he's cool, you know, bald-headed dude. He was about, like, 18 at the time. You know, I was only 12 years old. So, boom, he's like, I have a homie over here in the creek. So, if y'all know about the creek, man, I don't know what to tell y'all, but shout-outs to the creek, man. So, back then, you know, the creek, you know, was mainly known for five palms. So, if y'all know about five palms, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, they're talking about, okay, uh, yadi yadi, five palms. We ain't have a car. I ain't have a car. Bro, I went on a bus with a backpack. Little dude on a bus taking like three or four buses just to get to that spot, bro. I kid you not. And I'm scared as shit. It's like, I am i don't even know where I'm at, bro. I promise you. Like, it was like, on the way to get there, it was so confusing and so crazy. You know what I'm saying? I had bought a QP of Reggie. So back then, Reggie was all that was selling. If you had Doty, man, you, you had had a good connect or you can't make money off of it. Trust me. But Reggie, everybody would get bowls of Reggie and just get rich off of them. They'll even be selling the cues, you know what I'm saying? All day long. Cues, cues, cues. I remember seeing the big homies, man. I got cues 125 all day. 125 all day. Young dude breaking down a QP of Reggie, man. I remember I gave two ounces to that dude I. So remember, guys, this is a good key. I gave two ounces to that dude I. He told me he was going to flip that and make $100. And gave me a hundred dollars. And I was like, alright, bet. That sounds good. That's pretty much almost all my money back. So all I gotta do is sell these two ounces for like a hundred bucks and make my money. You feel me? So I started bagging them in dime bags and shit like that. You know, 10 sacks, 10 sacks, 10 sacks, 20 sacks, even Nick sacks, man, because I was in the West Side. And if y'all don't know about the West Side, man, it's pretty much. It's pretty much just like a whole bunch of uh, poverty and stuff like that. So basically, I'm over here going to the apartments that's 50 bucks a month. 50 bucks a month. And I'm trying to sell weed and sacks all around the city and all around, you know, my area and shit. All the wrong areas, in fact. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, I ended up offering about... Three or four dime sacks, you know what I'm saying? A couple nick sacks to the homies. But then guess what I did? We went to a park, man. I also bought a gas mask and some salvia uh, that same day that I bought the QP. I forgot to tell y'all that. I'll leave that for another story. Drop a like if y'all want to hear that story. It's about the time I did salvia. So drop a like, baby. Y'all dropped a like? Alright, bet. So anyway... Fucking sell these sacks. I, I made like 35 bucks. I was thinking my homie's making a hundred bucks for me. So that's 135. That's my money back. So then I had bought the grinder, the gas mask, etc. etc. And we went to this one park called the Good Sam. Now Good Sam is just like a, a low-key park, you know. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's a bunch of kids there, especially like on school days. But I remember it was a Saturday and I was with my homie M and my homie M. He's like, bro, let's smoke. Let's go smoke. And I was like, okay, let's smoke. So we went to the good Sam. I remember we're loading all the Reggie bows, man. Thun, 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 thun. And we're smoking so much Reggie, bro. Like, I didn't even think this was going to be possible. But we were just smoking so much Reggie. We were grinding it up, putting it in shit and everything, bro. Like, it was so crazy how much Reggie we smoked in one day. Probably a good two ounces. I went home. I had no more weed, bro. I had 35 bucks in my pocket, expecting to get that $100 and make me having $135. And also, I had no more weed. 
So I'm like stressing. I'm like, damn, I can't believe I smoked the whole cue, you know, like almost basically, etc. I check my grinder and my homie Mitch left a little sum in the grinder. That kind of made my day. So then I, I start smoking that and I go to visit my homie I. I'm like, all right, my homie I's about to uh, give me my hundred dollars. Everything's going to be cool. And I'm about to do this for real. You feel me? Hell nah. My homie I, I pulled up to my homie I and he was ducked off. So I put up to his crib. It's my homie's crib, but like he lived there, and he wasn't even there. They said that he wasn't even that he hasn't been there, but I think they're a bit lying. You know, I'm pretty sure he was upstairs. I did this trick all the time to people. Hey, mom, tell him I'm not here. You know, they tell you, oh, he's not here right now. And what do you get to do? Go in the house and look for him? No. So long story short, he's over here hiding from me. Two weeks later, two weeks, bro, two weeks pass by. I hit him up for my money. And he didn't have it, bro. I don't even know what happened. It got to the point where it was so long that I waited that I didn't even want that money no more. Like, he just finessed me, bro. Like, he finessed me out those two ounces. And that was the first time I ever learned not to trust anybody. You know what I'm saying, guys? You will learn so many times in your lifetime. And there's so many stories that I've learned these lessons. You know what I'm saying? This is just the very first time that I ever got into the game. And I f***ed up the first time I ever got in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, I went broke. That was my first time I became the plug, man. If y'all want part two, part three, I will finish more stories, more story times, more plug stories, more etc., man. But all I have to do is drop a like, subscribe for more fire videos, man. Let's get 500,000 subscribers, man. We could do it, man. I just need y'all help, baby. And, yeah, shout out to this King Pong, man. It's been going. They the guys, bro, for real. This King Palm was burning excellent in this video, as y'all can see. And now available in all 7-Eleven stores, man. But anyway, guys, this is your boy, Young Mike. And I'll be back at it with some more five videos. Oh, gang.